it's Ramsey Dewey at the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China. And we're back downstairs. Renovations are almost complete, so if you're in the neighborhood here in Shanghai, book us up, come train with us. And I'm here to talk about a serious issue, obesity. Now, um, I don't always do these with the shirt off. In fact, I usually don't, but I want to talk today about how I am actually obese. I'm overweight. This right here is the look of somebody who is, according to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization, obese. I'm not kidding you. According to their standards, yes, I am fat. Take a look. Take a look at all this fat. Again, I, I want to point out some of the glaring errors in judging our body based on a body mass index or a BMI. A BMI is what the CDC and the WHO measure obesity by, okay? So all that is is how tall you are relative to how much you weigh. It has nothing to do with body fat, as you can clearly see, yes, I'm 100% serious when I say according to their standards, I am fat, I am obese, I am overweight, okay? It doesn't matter if I have visible muscle striations and a visible six pack and you know veins popping out or any of that stuff, it doesn't matter. All the BMI is, is a measure of how tall you are relative to how much you weigh. So if you have someone who is actually fat, carrying around a lot of extra body fat, it is entirely possible for them to have the same BMI as somebody who is, say, a competition bodybuilder or a professional athlete. So when we talk about weight, the most important term to define is what? What is that weight? Okay? Now, yes, according to the CDC and WHO standards, I am overweight. Okay? Even with a, a very low body fat percentage. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, body fat percentage is simply how much fat is on your body. Okay? So you can clearly see I'm not actually a fat person, in spite of what these, these papers say that I received on my last physical at a hospital that follows these guidelines. Okay. Here's a copy of my physical after I got back from the hospital along with a photograph that same day. It says your body mass index is 25.1 kilograms per meter squared. It is overweight and will increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Please watch your weight and waste through regular diet and exercise. Throw BMI out the window. Okay, it's, it's really not that helpful. Throw BMI out the window. Look at body composition. How much actual fat is on your body? How much does your skeleton weigh? How much lean muscle mass do you have on you? Okay? And more importantly, what can your body do? I got into an argument, let's call it an argument, on the internet a while back about the best way to measure health, okay? Because a friend of mine was having a competition at work, it was some sort of weight loss competition, and, and she's a very skinny person. And she felt slighted because, because losing weight definitely would not be a healthy thing for her to do, okay? And whenever they have these weight loss competitions, a lot of people get really excited, except the skinny people, okay? You know, skinny doesn't necessarily mean healthy, okay? And, you know, they deserve to get excited about, you know, getting healthy too. So we got in this discussion, what is a better way to determine overall health, okay? And I got in an argument with this girl who is a, a personal trainer, and, and she um, started throwing out some numbers. Well, if if, if you can reach this number and that number and whatever, 
on the scale, then, then that should mean you're a healthy person. And, and I don't like that because I, I'm an athlete and I train athletes. Okay, and what is important to me is can you win or not? Can you win the fight or not? Okay? Can you win the game or will you lose it? Okay, will your, can you pull yourself up over that bar or can you not? Can you squat that thing or, or can you not? Okay, will your body do the work? It's that simple. So I suggested, well, well hey, how about uh, measure how many push-ups you can do, how many pull-ups you, you can do, how, how much you can run or swim or jump or lift or pull or something like that. It seems to make sense to me. Okay. Um, she wasn't a big fan of that idea. But, but again, I'm going to throw that idea out to you. Ask yourself, not what do I look like in the mirror? Or what does the scale say? Or what is, you know, whatever test or measurements say numerically? Ask yourself, what can you do? How is your performance? How do you actually feel? Okay? When you wake up in the morning, are you ready to meet the day? Do you have what it takes to do what you need to do? All right? When you get to the gym, when you start exercising, when you start training, do you have the energy to do it? Do you have the strength to do it? Are you making significant improvements? Are, are you, and by significant, I mean, I mean small ones, because again, improvement happens gradually. I can't stress that enough. Okay, we don't go from here all the way up to the ceiling overnight. Again, strength gains are small, endurance gains are small, but as long as we are, as long as we're working toward it, we'll get there, okay? So, anyway, if you're listening to this, if you're taking my advice, you're taking advice from a fat person. So, maybe take it with a grain of salt. Anyway, thanks for watching. Get out there and try.